Hello, welcome back to AHN Entertainment. My name is Aaron, and today we're going to be talking about Batwoman. With the new arrival of her series on the CW, I think it's time we dive into her origins and find out exactly where she came from. Out of the various members of the extended Batman family, Kathy Catherine Kane has become one of the most popular in recent years. Originally introduced in the year 1956 in Detective Comics 233, she was brought into the comics as a sort of counter method because claims were running high of Batman and Robin having an inappropriate sexual relationship. Despite her growing popularity, Kathy Kane was replaced in the 1960s by Barbara Gordon, aka Batwoman. The character of Batwoman laid rather dormant until her reimagining in the year 2006 and was reintroduced as a redhead and as a lesbian and the maternal cousin of Bruce Wayne. The change in her sexual orientation garnered massive media attention and cemented her as one of the most popular LGBT characters to date in the DC Universe. When questioned about the decision to make Batwoman an LGBT character, Dan DiDio, co-publisher of DC Comics, stated, we wanted to have a character that was much more reflective of today's society and even today's fan base. One of the reasons we made her gay is that, again, when you have the Batman family, a series of characters that aren't superpowered and inhabit the same circle in the same city, you want to really have a point of difference. It was really important for me to make sure every character felt unique. Since her reintroduction in the year 2006, Batwoman has now taken over the lead of the Detective Comics Batman series and gaining her first solo series as well. Due to changes in storyline and character history since the New 52, we're gonna be primarily using her Prime Earth origins. Kate Kane was born in Gotham City and is the daughter of US Army Colonel Jacob Kane and Army Captain Kobe Kane. Her father is Martha Wayne's brother, making Kate the cousin Bruce Wayne. Due to her parents' active military service, she moved around frequently until her family went overseas to Brussels, Belgium. In Belgium during her 12th birthday, Kate, her mom, and sister Elizabeth were kidnapped by terrorists. While Kate was rescued, her mother and sister weren't as lucky, and Kate became traumatized by the deaths. Kate went on to study at West Point where she did very well but was expelled in her final year for coming out as gay. After her expulsion, Kate traveled the world attempting to battle her depression and repress her trauma. Once she returned to Gotham City, she was almost the victim of a mugging. Witnessing Batman in person created a sense of inspiration for Kane and, and rose her to a sense of a higher purpose. With her father's connections, she trained extensively with a group of elite special ops soldiers known as the Murder of Crows, while also conducting private missions with her father. Batwoman doesn't have any super abilities, but she uses her training and her gadgets to overcome her enemies and accomplish her missions. Most notably, her skills include over 10 different forms of martial arts, masterful interrogative techniques, being an excellent parkour athlete with previous gymnastics training, quick reflexes, and expertise with stealth, investigation, and espionage. Outside of her skills and abilities, Kate uses advanced different weapons depending on the mission. Her utility belt also carries various weapons and tools depending on the situation. She's been shown to carry a small firearm in her utility belt in certain comics. If you want to read some Batwoman comics, we at HN highly recommend checking out her solo series that ran from 2011 to 2014. Outside of the comics, be sure to check her out in the new CW series that airs this October of 2019. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, make sure to check out our other videos. Also, comment, subscribe, let us know what characters you would like to see in the future. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching our video. If you guys liked what you saw, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and consider filling out the survey in the description below. It's just some stuff for us to find out ways we can better make our content, whether it's the lighting, the camera, you know, the audio, the video, whatever it may be, we want to make the best content possible for you guys here at HN. So just fill out the survey if you have a chance, let us know, put in the comments, things we can improve upon. And we hope you guys liked the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you guys would like to see next time. We'll see you guys later.